Hello everyone, it's Sispawn, back for episode 22 of my Roman Spectrum 2.5 Pontus campaign. Yeah, we left off taking Assos, and I think we're just going to move right on from there. I don't think there was a lot left to do this turn. Obviously we're still just waiting for uh, money to expand Heraclea. And we should get that next turn, assuming we don't have any crazy expenses that pop up before then. This army's just finishing its retraining here. The Seleucid's backed off for the moment, so we have a little bit of breathing space. Build a watchtower here. Build tower. March. I don't think that really helped at all, actually. But oh well. And yes, Stratagos. Yes, Stratagos. send you here for retraining. But I think that's basically the end of our turn. So let's see what happens here. In the meantime. The, army. <coughs> the Greeks are blockading us for whatever reason. And I think we're going to take him since we're going to be getting new cities here. We'll probably need some more governors. Trapeze has finished its royal palace, that's convenient. Asos got its garrison built. Okay, so first of all let's head over to Heraclea and start building that. That's all our money for this turn essentially. It looks like they have not gotten any emergency stacks here, which is good. Ephesus is still relatively unguarded, so I do think that's going to remain our next target. Let's go ahead and leave here. We are at war with the Ptolemy, so there's a chance they'll come around and try to grab this. But, um, I mean, Pergamum's already gunned him for it, so I don't think it's going to make much of a difference regardless. Um, are you a night fighter? You are. I think we checked that last episode. I want to see if I can find out more about you guys. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Man, I know this army is not... Well, unless it's captain somehow is, which would be insane. Hmm. But this army here actually looks fairly beatable. I mean, it's got a lot of levy pikemen. Some cavalry, but nothing too impressive. And its only real quality units are, for the most part, um, weakened, so... It might even be worth going for a nighttime attack on this army right here. Uh, it's worth considering. Alright, yeah, you know what? We really need to start weakening Pergamon's position here, so I think we might just go ahead and go for that. They can't be doing well financially right now. Yeah, it's it's got to be just completely draining them having that many armies built up here at the moment. Let's do it. Okay, apparently... Oh... 
because that guy is a night fighter, so even though the captain isn't, I should have thought about that. Well... Hmm... What do you have? Way too good to assault in the city. It's not without losing a ton of guys. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, close to infantry, two skirmishers, and a crap ton of cavalry here. Six of them, not including the general. Just to see. I mean, it's still kind of suicidal, but it would at least get us inside the walls. And we'd only be fighting one army. Well, you know what? I think we have to go for it. I probably shouldn't have done this in the first place, but at this point, it doesn't really matter. Make a quick save here, and we will um, have a pretty epic battle here, guys. Alright guys, this is going to be interesting. Our best path to the city square is just right here. We don't have any time limit, so it's not the biggest worry. The biggest problem is going to be their towers. However, right here we have a very solid stretch of wall where we're not going to have to worry about getting shot at much. So I think this is going to be our entry point. Now the only problem is this could turn into a replay of the Battle of Sinope where we only have one or two entry points max and we're just getting bottlenecked even with better quality infantry, which I'm not really convinced that we have overall in this battle. That could turn into a very bloody uh, battle, so we're going to have to tread carefully, I guess. But I think let's go ahead and... Oh, who am I missing? Oh, you guys. Okay. General. Let's go ahead and start this up and see how they're the will be busy to arranged. The enemy have bought more men to fight. They got quite a few men on the walls here, but that's alright. I'm not really going to be trying to take the walls, so... That's just going to be um, free kills if I destroy the walls when they're on them. My archers are going for some... Shots here. I don't know how many kills they're going to get that way. But we'll let them shoot. They're not going to be doing much good inside the walls. So. Let them get what kills they can. Good lord. They've got some awesome troops defending this city here though. With their hypospists. Let's see. Most of their cavalry is anything special. They do have some Aspidophoroi and some Thraken cavalry somewhere, I believe. We've got the Royal Hoplites here. Or the Hoplites of Pergamon. Some Macaphoroi. More Hoplites of Pergamon. Macaphoroi at the Lectoi. Pretty sure they have some more elites back in the back here. I thought they had a unit of Agaris Spadais hiding somewhere, and those guys are just plain scary. I'm sure we'll, uh... Oh, yep, here they are. Yeah, these guys are no fun. No bueno. Okay, my catapults are in position almost here. I want to line them up as much as possible. I really don't want to waste any ammunition missing these walls. I'd like to get multiple breaches open, but the only way I'm going to have any kind of chance of that is if I hit all my uh, all my shots for the most part. So let's start battering this down. I do think I'm going to at least double speed this for the moment here. 
but this is going to be a long battle, guys. This will probably be a good chunk of this video. As taking of the capital of our main enemy right now should be, I guess. Wouldn't really be that fun if they didn't leave any garrison for us to fight. But we're making very good progress on this wall right now. So we may even be able to get two or three uh, breaches open as long as we don't start missing a lot. Some of these don't seem to be doing any damage though. I'm not sure if it's just the game not keeping up or what. Oh no, stay. Guys, guys, stay. Really. It's okay, I promise. What's the rush? Alright, just a couple more volleys and we'll have at least one breach started here. And they've already got war their uh, hypospists at the gap ready for us. The walls are broken. So I'm not going to rush anything in right away here. I'm actually just going to line up and get another breach started. So let's go ahead and speed this up for us. We'll just triple speed that. I'm really glad they don't have any archers or anything right now. Or they could be destroying my catapult crews as close as I'm getting. Speaking of, let's just go ahead and go right up to about here. Should be out of javelin range still. Alrighty. Line up, and apparently I'm too close. Huh. Okay, we'll back up a little bit, guys. Sorry, I'm wasting our time here. There we are. Now turn around and shoot. I know this isn't too exciting here, but the action will be started momentarily, guys. I should have enough for one more breach. The question is, do I want to make it? I think right here might be an okay spot, but that does put me right next to this gatehouse and all these skirmishers. So, other options would be right here, which also puts us next to a tower, but an unoccupied stretch of wall. I think that might be our next best option. Alright, I'll just come back to you guys when this is all done and I'm about to start the battle here. Sorry, should have done that from the beginning. Alright guys, um, battle's not quite started yet, but I am going to try to... Uh, there we go, yeah, that's what I wanted to see. Clear that gap, losers. Alright, see if we can't do the same right over here. I just want to discourage them from camping in front of there. As much as I can. Units, move out. Units. Units. And for anyone who's worried about me burning down the city, the uh, buildings on the uh, battle map here don't have any connection with what you're actually building in this mod, so not really a problem. Ah, come on, right here, guys. Right here. Oh yeah. Get out of here.
Nothing? This might be a waste of our time. Oh, there we are. Alright. I'm going to go to normal speed here. You guys can cease your attacks for the moment. And let's go ahead and advance. That's a nice little backdrop for our battle. City in flames. Nice and dramatic for us. Well guys, this may turn out to be a complete failure, but there's only one way to find out. And I can already feel the uh, frames per second going down here with that fire going on. But, you know what, it was worth it. Okay. These guys are just going to absolutely slaughter my troops once they get in here. So I really need to focus on one of these and just get a flank going. Ooh, we've got them in a, um... What's it called? The, uh... Testudo formation. Looks like they're getting out now that my troops are approaching, but... Either way, we're gonna rush in there. We're just gonna more menace right here than anything else. Yeah, it looks like we really took down their skirmish elements. At least that unit a little bit. Which is good, because javelin units on the walls can be, uh, extremely deadly when you're attacking the city. Alright, slaughter these cavalry here, guys. That shouldn't be too hard. You're heavy spearmen. This is like your dream come true here. I have a feeling I'm going to be hiring some mercenaries to fill out my infantry after this battle. Probably those uh, Celtic Heavy Spearmen or whatever they're called. Oh my god. Oh my god. There come those javelins. Oh yeah. That's, that's not going to feel good. That sucks. Stop it. Stop it now. Yeah, that unit of Thrakti is gone. Like, it wasn't going to be pretty just head-to-head, -head, but these guys are uh, making it no contest here. Anyways, that's just more of a distraction right there. We really need to break in right here. This cavalry is dead for the most part, but we're not really getting any headway. And if you're wondering why I only have two breaches, it's because apparently you can't breach here or here. It just started wasting all my ammo on this tower. So I figured we'll just go ahead and go for it. I really don't think opening one here would have been the best idea with all these javelin units. But we will see whether I was right or not. Somehow they got behind me, this unit's so depleted. Oh, the building came down. Alright, we're gonna commit one more unit right there. You guys head right about here for the moment. And archers. There's not really any use for you at this point. Oh, I forgot about you guys almost. Head up here. Well, we appear to be winning it over here. That's good. We need to be winning somewhere. And they're pushing out towards our spearmen here, but that's not really going to be any big deal. This Kodramoy cab will just evaporate if they attack too much. But like I said, we're just going to be buying time right here. I really don't want to get 
another unit just wasted in there. I wonder what they have in their city square here. Oh, apparently I did not pick the uh, best path to get there. Oh no, never mind. Right there. Got the general's guard here. Some more Zeistafori. Zeistafori. Some more Zeistafori. Basically all calf. If I could get like four spear units down that lane, I might be able to just hold their city square against them until the timer goes down, which is kind of cheap, but it's better than fighting all these super high quality upgraded units they have here. We'll see what we can do. Before I can do anything though, we have to slaughter these units here. I might throw my cavalry in here and see if we can't get them to break. My Thrakatai are not exactly infantry killers, unfortunately. They try, but there's only so much the pure spear armed units can do there. Turn your missiles off. General, you get right over here. What is firing at us now? There's some slingers or something, or is that just my uh, Cappadocians having fun? Alright, come on guys, you know you want to break. I promise you, you do. And this is another possible route I can take if I want to avoid fighting all the way through their units while I do this. I could even try to sneak a couple of units right here to hold off this path. We'll see. We'll have to be smart about this, that's for sure. Well, we've got them all backed up, so hopefully they'll route here fairly soon. Toot my general's horn here, just in case. They're still holding out pretty admirably. Just put these guys right here in support. guys still have not broken but you're down to 30 some odd troops so if we're lucky you'll break soon the only problem is I'm going to need to have some defenses set up before we do all the fighting here otherwise they're gonna be able to rush their troops back and stop me from taking that city square You guys head this way. <coughs> Not a lot to comment on here, I'll be honestly, at the moment. These guys are basically dead, but we will uh, start our plan here soon, I think. guys. I wonder if we could rotate you out, let you rest, and send this unit up. Without taking too many casualties here. It'd be nice. Alright, pull out, guys. Take a break. I've got you covered. 
We'll lose a few men doing it, but it's better to have fresh men fighting than exhausted ones. Okay. I think we need to go ahead and start heading over this way. And I do think we're going to have to use our phalanx units to try to block off their, um their escape route. Okay, it looks like we managed to pull out. We lost maybe like eight guys doing it, but it's all for the best. Now we have fresh guys fighting an exhausted unit, so this should turn in our favor here. <coughs> Excuse me. See if we can't sneak these guys through here. <coughs> I'll be right back, guys. All right, I'm back. I really hope they fix these um, siege battles in Rome too. I really don't have to fight, grind out siege battles like this when it comes out, but we'll see what they do. Alright, so it looks like we're going to have to fight through these, um, Hypus Pits, who are just chopping my guys down for some reason. I'm in Falcon's formation now, so they should be pushing them back. Well, they're not moving off the... W oh, crap. Ah, they committed their cavalry here. This is going to get messy. Alright, you guys need to go in here. You guys need to run this way. Exhausted or not. Guys, get in here. This could be going better here. But I think we still have a chance. So our bronze shields here are basically just screwed. don't want to trigger them into a panic here too early because I won't be able to block their rushing back to the city square yet. So I'm not going to move my cavalry in as much as I'd like to. You guys, I don't even know what to do with you. Let's head this way, I guess. You guys need to get your asses running. I'm going to pull back here just because if we're going to fight them, I don't want to trigger their panic reaction, so we're going to hopefully draw them into this little square here. Do they have reinforcements moving in, even though we had a night battle? Oh no, they're just sending some cavalry around the flanks. 
So we need to be ready for that. Um, you guys, let's get out of here. You guys get a little closer in here. Actually, just head this way inside the walls. Alright guys, get out of Phalanx Formation, you're facing the wrong way. Get back into Phalanx Formation and now start attacking. Drop your spears please, thank you. Yeah, Jack Spides, you guys got slaughtered. Alright, I've got my infantry here. Actually, you guys, hold off. You don't need to engage yet. And I don't care if my Thraktai are exhausted. They should be able to take these guys out, no problem. Just swarm them, guys. Okay, you know what, you guys, we just need to commit everyone over here. You just keep distracting them as long as you can. You did your job. Okay, good. Our catapult crew got away, so they're not going to get flanked and taken out by that cavalry. We didn't really have any use left for them over here. We've taken care of that light cav, so now we're going to... You guys first of all need to get out of the way. You guys start heading this way. As well as you guys. And this is pretty much the moment of truth here. They're going to start pouring everything off the walls as soon as we get into that city square most likely. And we're not going to be able to set up the um, little stop gap with these found seats like I wanted. If I had been in formation, I probably would have been able to take these guys out no problem, and I wouldn't have been flank charged, but... Silly micro mistake on my part. What are you guys doing? Get over here! Alright, now cavalry, get over here. Okay, it looks like they've committed their general and the Zeist to here, which is perfect. We're going to just envelop them with our cavalry and smash them. In fact, you guys go right here. And you guys line up like so. 
You guys get the hell out of the way. And cavalry can charge in. And lo and behold, they're rushing everyone this way. So you guys need to line up right here, right now. And my Thraktai need to get their butts over here as well. Now it's just a matter of how long we can hold out and keep them from getting through here, so... We just need to get everyone over there that we can. Generally, you're just going to sit like right here. You guys are going to sit here and try to shoot over their heads. You guys are going to do the same thing with javelins. Fortunately, I have some pretty damn good troops here holding this little stopgap. The only problem is if they get enough numbers to just push through before I can get a real defense set up. <sighs> you guys might as well just stay here to make sure we have someone in here no matter what. Same with the archers. You need to get the hell over here. As well as you. You get lined up right here. Uh, chill out, guys. Hurry up and get in there. Alright, I think we got this, guys. Kind of a cheap win, but they were kicking our ass, so you gotta do what you gotta do. Let's get some close-ups of the unit in the meantime. <sighs> so yeah, um, our Thraktai contingent here was pretty well thrashed. I think we're just going to have to merge these guys and get as many mercenaries as we can. I'm not too worried about losing experience because none of them were even up to silver chevrons yet, so. But that's the battle. We're going to end it. Victory! By the degree of fight, perhaps, but victory all the yeah, same! Definitely a close victory. So, yeah, I was saying they had that reinforcement army, even though I selected a night battle. I don't know why I didn't do one, but, um, whatever. Not the end of the world. Alright, we got Pergamon, yes, and if we depopulate it, we will get 22,000 denarii. Accepted. Hell yes. Alright, sorry if that was a little long and uh, grindy there, guys. I know siege battles can be kind of boring to watch sometimes, but it had to be done. We are definitely going to work on making this into a training facility over on this area. And we won't be able to make our best troops or anything, but at least we'll, we'll have something. 
Ooh, and we are going to have at least some uh, access to some Thracian troops, which are awesome. So we'll definitely make a decent garrison here. I don't want to lose Pergamon at all. And we can use some of those Thracian troops to um, replenish our infantry contingent. So I might go ahead and make... Ooh, you guys will just head back for retraining. That's... Uh, ooh, if I can get away. <laughs> we are kind of behind enemy lines here now. Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and just make something like that. We'll take most of these for our army here. The good news is they're actually very good against other infantry unless it's a phalanx unit head on. They're armor piercing. They don't have the best army, but they've got a great charge attack, so I'm happy about that. Ooh, and when we end the turn, they're either going to just surrender and I'll die, or they're going to sally out and fight us. But I know this video has been going on for quite a while with that siege battle, so we're probably just going to end it here. It looks like my Scythian archers couldn't retrain either, so I might have to send them up to Mazika. So I think I'm going to do it before I forget. In the meantime, just in case I need some, we'll make a couple of units of just regular Greek archers. They're pretty crappy, but just in case. And at worst, even if we don't end up needing them, if the solutions don't come back before our Scythians do, we will have them there to defend Antioch or Laodicea or Tarsus. Good lord, you guys just disband. You guys... Disband. Yes, I'd like to retrain you if I can get you the hell away from here somehow. You know, I can put him in a little ambush spot. I might be able to get him away without him being caught. I don't know. Can I make any ships? Yeah. Let's make a ship and see if we can get him away that way. He's got enough experience that he's worth retraining. Even if it goes down a little bit, I think it'll be worth keeping around. Yes, okay, well, we still have one army in good shape over here, and they only have two cities left, but this is where things will definitely start to get interesting. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.